All right, so now it's time to actually play one of my classics from my childhood, Stones. Which uh, pretty much ended up being made by the same people who did, yeah, Test Drive and Test Drive 2, the duel. And yeah, this was made in 1990, and I'd say, given the time, uh, we're pretty much starting to be to see actual advances in technology and everything. And yeah, I've also said a bunch of bad things about the uh, DSi or USI or anything, but yeah, that that was about the time where they got it right, and they sure got it right here. So yeah. Remember all of test drive as well then hard driving and everything? Now it's time to mix it all together and we're getting the kind of game that we're having here. This game ended up coming in two versions. There's version 1.0 and 1.1. Each have their little quirks or anything. Oh yeah, also... Uh, oh, slow... Okay, that's right. This is uh, whenever your computer's a little less powerful, like this game can be run on a 286, but you'll have to uh, tank the graphic level quite a bit. But if you have a 386, then hey, drive on, brother. So yeah, the big meat of this game is that uh, yeah, you can just go to the track menu and you've got a list of tracks. Typically. Well, about any version of stunt that you're going to find on the internet is pretty much gonna come with random ass track from uh, somewhere in the world and any and anything. But if you ended up uh, buying the game like a good old citizen and you had like the the stunt floppies and everything, it will come with uh, I believe six tracks, all of them named after the opponents that you fight uh, during the game, like. Uh, this game allows you to race against the clock, but uh, you also get to choose uh, people to race against. Yeah, there's all of them, yeah. For instance, this guy is the first opponent. The track was called Burini because that's his own turf. Year of experience, too. Expertise, non-problem, hall. Like, I don't know, I think if you add two years of experience, maybe you will be able to actually... Uh, Race okay, but uh, okay. I don't think uh, we are. No, we're not Bernie Sanders. We're racing against him. Now it's time to uh, to choose our uh, car that we're gonna go with. So what will be an appropriate dri driving car? Let's go with this. Oh, all right, and of course, good old copy protection. So yeah, we might as well just have a look at uh, all of the basic tracks that the game has to offer, as well then all of the opponents, so alright. This guy is the chumpest of all chumps, and so we're gonna see what he's all about. And yeah, of course this game also comes with pretty sensible controls now, we're actually going with the uh, arrow keys and everything to drive, nothing uh, super esoteric this time, so... Yeah, it was about time that uh, everything was okay. You can also choose whether your uh, transmission is automatic or manual, it's automatic by default. Suffice to say at this point, the main uh, basis of the game like, is literally just uh, all of the crazy stunts that you have to do, like the jumping over a giant pit like this, a half pipe where there's a bunch of blocks that you have to dodge. So, yeah, all in all, there's definitely a little bit more variety to the whole proceedings. There's also these inclines which are really, really smooth in the way that they actually drive. And yeah, some people did uh, bring up like a track menu, like a, a sort of a follow-up to this. So, hey, this is pretty much here. Oh yeah, this game is not fun because my car is not exploding. How about that? But yeah, over here, that's a dirt road, now we're on high, which means our steering is fucking crap. Even whenever uh, you have uh, any kind of good car, any race uh, will go in to a screeching halt whenever you're uh, driving on a thing. When does this came out? At the end of 90, of 1990. I think it was November or December. And the current version that we're playing, 1.1, came out in February 1991. So, yeah, suffice to say, uh, 
You could play either hard driving two or this. Personally, I'd say, uh, how about that we play this? Thank you, Carmen94. Thank you very much for the bit. So yeah, we've got these dividers, which always look uh, pretty swanky as well. And especially more so whenever, you know, they come in pairs like this. And yeah, if you were in Europe, I believe uh, the game was also called uh, 4D Sports Driving. So therefore, there was uh, even more ways in order to enjoy your uh, racing of stuff. So hey. Oh, this game continued uh, to blow my mind uh, way later. Also, here's the weirdest freaking obstacle in the world. Like, I have no clue who is the sadist that ever came up with this, but uh, yeah. We call this a corkscrew. And yeah, of course, the loop de loop uh, from hard driving is also back. Did I tell you that uh, this game has quite a fair bit of influence from hard driving, except. As you can see here, everything kind of, you know, uh, plays really nicely for the most part. Like, uh, you know, the game has a pretty simple yet fairly robust uh, driving engine. For instance, uh, yeah, if you try to take drag these kind of corners way too harshly, then uh, you're just gonna bite dirt. Yeah, when you make a game 20 times, eventually you get it right. And they sure got it right this time. I mean, you can drift, but it's not in your best interest. So yeah, I finish one uh, whole minute ahead of my opponent. Well, I guess you're too good for me, but it wasn't fair. I couldn't reach a gas pedal in that car. You may want to go against another driver. They'd be more challenging. All right, not Bernie. And yeah, after that, like, uh, if you fancy, uh, if you fancied your run of this, you can also just have a look at it uh, again, because uh, why not? It's fun. Like, you've got a plethora of different angles that you can uh, watch uh, your race at, like the good old fabled helicopter mode that allows you to see a little bit better uh, what things are happening. This uh, third person uh, power, this third person camera, which is kind of really close to you it's like i don't know for some reason i kind of always uh, liked it oh god the race barely started and uh, we already left him in the dirt and then of course there's also this mode as a spoiler you can also play the game with this camera mode you sure will not get anywhere but it sure is uh, really funny and yeah, the fun thing also with all of that is that, uh, hey, if at some point uh, you want to just take over, like uh, there was a certain part you wanted to re-experience, yeah, continue driving. So yeah, there we go. We can uh, re redo the race from uh, any moment that you were on. You're not gonna get a high score, but uh, hey. Right. That said, let's make Bernie happy. Let's just crash our car. Uh, okay, it actually took me effort in order to crash. Yep, there we go. I won! Oh, jeez, I actually won! Hey, that was a spectacular crash you had. How about a bit this time? Loser buys dinner. Alright, so that was it for Bernie. So... Now it's time to check out uh, the startup track of the game, which is fittingly enough called Default. Whenever you call it, whenever you start up the game, it's always gonna start this track by default. So therefore, hey, it's kind of the titular track of the game. And now let's check out the rest of the opponents. The Ersotopars. 28 years of experience, expertise, flat road, and problem, elevated roads, aerial stunts. After many years as the premier European Formula 1 driver, Herr Pacht is now driving the stunt tracks, but is now handicapped by a nervous eye, fear of heights. Alright, how about we give him... Uh, Alright, what car are we giving him? Alright, let's give him a Lamborghini, because why not? Oh, 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 oh. And in order to make it a little... Oh, okay. 
right, hold on. What is the most garish color? All right, this one, man. Green neon. Yeah, air double mustache. Now well, he might actually be faster than me. I guess we're going to see. Hold on. How do you? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh no, I'm actually faster than him. Uh, oh no! Hey, looks like <gasps> you just subscribed. Congratulations. Thank you, Gnosis Duck, for the sub. Thank you very much. Oh. You shall know better than to pit your skill against a champion. Yet I do not understand why you chose to smash your car up so. Choose another vehicle. I will teach you another lesson. <gasps> Alright. Sorry, but uh, he who pays the Jews. Okay, alright. Now we can actually... Aha! He who crashed the car will make his opponent crash after that. <laughs> and hey, I sure still can drive worth a damn. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen94, for the bits. Thank you very much. Like, honestly, most of the cars I suck at at driving because about anybody who played this game typically only plays with one car, and that is the Porsche Marsh Indy, but... Since we're playing against, uh, you know, the AI driver, I typically like to uh, play with the more normal cars because if you try to give them a good car, uh, that will actually cause them an aneurysm and they're just going to uh, crash uh, their way into oblivionness. Like, I wish that was not uh, an actual thing, but uh, yeah, sadly that's the way it is. Uh, the... Driving AI in this game is not exactly what I will call uh, good, by any mean of the imagination. Like, even the hardest difficulty uh, driver of this game, like, uh, whenever you go against him, uh, doesn't take him a whole bunch of effort in order to uh, destroy his ride. I mean, why the heck does Sonic need a car? The, the same reason you'd pick vehicles in Saints Row 4. Because they're there. But yeah, I picked default for this one character because... For some reason, Herr Autopass does not have his uh, own track, so yeah, we'll school him on the default track. I have lost to such a young one, it embarrasses me. It is because of these ills, they unnerve me. If you will, but provide me with a worthwhile car. You have a better car than I, you fucking fuck. <gasps> so, yay. We're down to another opponent. Now it's time for opponent number three, and we're gonna go into his, his uh, home turf. Yeah. Joe, smoking Joe. Okay, Joe. Oh yeah, expertise, curves, and sharp corners. Problem, slow on straightaways. Oh. Little is known about the roots of this tactical drivers. Speculation is that you rear-handed another car on a straightaway, causing his current restraint on these ca on these track areas. So yeah, he's good at corners, but apparently he's bad at uh, everything else, so alright. Let's uh, keep scaling up uh, the, the hoods of the car. Okay, alright, Ferrari GTO, get the hell out! Oh, he actually has a better acceleration than mine. Alright, this might actually be a contest. Uh, oh. Ah! <gasps> Why will you put. Oh. Even he couldn't even handle that. Like, he literally drove off course. Yeah, with that said, however, boy, the. The default tracks in this, uh, they sure love to uh, put in uh, multi-directional things in order to give you multiple options for your racing pleasure. Yep, we're going fast against uh, Joe Stalin. 
Uh, oh god, I, I thought I was gonna fucking cry. Ah, uh, no. Okay, all right. Uh oh. Right. Just overtook me. We're gonna have to work better. Oh boy, my. Okay, all right. Ooh. Ah, that said, this track is full of corners. He's actually, uh, he's actually gonna bust me into his environment. <gasps> like typically, I don't play against opponents much. I typically just uh, prefer to do the hardest possible tracks that I can think of, and then uh, just go hog wild into the the fuckingest of shit. <gasps> Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew I could beat you. Got a license? Go play with Bernie. All right. This time, however, we're totally beating him. You might have the better car, but I'll show you that I have the better skills. Oh god, this time he actually stayed on the track the whole time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this guy is actually really good at corners. But that's going to kill him at some point, because hey, you know where people go or they die. The corner. Corner Mickey. <gasps> uh, oh my god. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, yeah, sadly, I don't think I'm uh, winning this. Because that one corner just utterly devastated me. At this point, I need a car that actually corners better, so hey. Yeah, right now he's just good because I gave him a way better car than mine. Like, I kind of overestimated the, the vehicle that I gave him. Now, the worst driver in this game is just called uh, Squealing Bernie or something. Now, the game auto shifts. I'm not doing any shifting here. You see, I'm not a shifty fellow. <laughs> Catch him, it's gonna be now or never. Alright, I'm catching you, motherfucker! Brum! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling we're about at the end. Oh, sadly, the dream is dead. Eat a joke. Yep. Oh, keep dreaming, pal. Leave the driving to the professional, okay? You want to be embarrassed again? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to do better than this. Alright, this time I, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna share cars with him, except my color is just gonna be a bunch of puke. It's a Jaguar because it's written but, but yeah now I have uh, like see the big difference between me having the same exact car than him like uh, suddenly it's no longer a, a, a contest yep this car is uh, totally purple like uh, the band deep purple like, for a while, that was the car that I was going with uh, before I learned that, uh, hey, the, uh, 
The Porsche Martian D was the best car in the game, but hey, I didn't know back in the time. Yeah, smoke on the engine. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, turns out that the car I gave him was indeed a shitload better. It's like, what the fuck? With this track now, uh, with this vehicle, I'm just freaking steaming this track like a, a Cleveland steamer. Uh, oh fuck, okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No. <laughs> I mean, they're not a real team, but they should be. Take it from me, your good old pal. Yep, this time. Oh, okay, you won that round. I guess you did run a pretty good race. You couldn't do it again, though. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time to move on to get yeah, cherries. Oh, god. Okay, is her track that long, or is she just a really poor driver? I guess uh, we'll have to put her money in the face where it is, so alright. A Porsche Carrera 4. Yep, there we go. That's the complete opposite of the other driver. High speed on the straight, and problem curves and sharp corners. Oh, speed trills is her motto, but she finds the corners, like, dangerous. Alright, that's the car that she had, then uh, what cars am I gonna have? Alright, I guess let's go with that, alright. Mm. Alright, it's time to see where's the best acceleration. She might have the best top speed, but hey. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, this game has real life car, because eh, it was much easier to do back in the time. Ah, uh, oh, no, this car is not fast enough to do the jump. Okay, all right. I'm gonna need a better car. <laughs> Wait, she also couldn't do it. What the hell? <laughs> okay, alright. Looks like uh, she's also gonna need a better car because uh, she couldn't finish. Okay, Corvette. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try out her car. Alright, Corvette versus other car. Who's gonna win? Ooh, alright. It's a tough beginning, but hey, that's what they also said it did. Now, I just say, hey, certain cars are better uh, at this uh, whole racing thing than the others. Woo, okay. Uh, Wow, I lived, what the fuck? So yeah, touching things in this game does not uh, instantly mean that you die. How about that? And also I say that because I'm a fucking dipshit. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh, I'm also uh, being just like the person I'm uh, racing against. I find the corners dangerous. Yeah, and loop-de-loops are even better in ver- uh, Oh, shit. Am I gonna go uh, fast enough in order to do this? Ooh! 
Alright, so far so good. And yeah, whenever you don't have a Porsche Marsh in D, make sure to slow down before taking this obstacle on. It's harder than it looks. Oh yeah, if you wanted to, you could also finish the track right now by simply going on the grass and then manually driving to the to the exit thing. But uh, yeah, be aware, if you do that, uh, that gives you a penalty. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Stones, aka the good version of uh, race driving. Another visitor. Thank you, Rejax! Thank you for the host! But yeah, we're playing more DOS games. Now we're playing Stunts, one of the, my favorite games back when I was a child. Kinda aged a bit, but hey, I still think uh, I like it a bunch. Oh yeah, you 100% could get a uh, better uh, performance uh, if you uh, shifted gear manually, but uh, I've never liked this part of the game. Thank you, Rejects, also for the sub. Thank you very much. And yeah, for the, for the record, right now we're playing uh, on what is essentially a 386. So even then, like, hey, performance-wise, uh, it runs uh, pretty damn well for the arrow. But yeah, on a 286, however, uh, you definitely needed to do some concession in order to play this game because otherwise. Uh, you sure we're not going to uh, to make it? Like I, I kept having this game long after uh, we left uh, the good old uh, 386 behind. Like uh, we still will be launching that uh, st.com uh, shortcut uh, on Windows uh, way after uh, this game will be. Uh, normally pass its expiry date because it turns out that this game has uh, one good trick up its sleeve which gives it uh, all of its uh, longevity and we're going to get to it as soon as we're gonna be done uh, trashing all of the AI opponents under respectable courses just in order to show hey this is the content of the game Yeah, as a reminder, there's only six tracks uh, whenever you buy this game, but uh, it sure wouldn't take you uh, very long in order to increase that uh, number. Yeah, I mean, uh, they, they, they're not showing you uh, the wheel turning, but hey, it's still an accurate uh, representation of, uh, you know, how much you're actually steering, so hey, it's a, it's still a pretty decent compromise. And yeah, of course, there's also a, a plethora of different uh, environments that you can raise the game is right now I believe we're currently in the tropical uh, landscape oh all right crafty track with the uh, multiple slaloms in a row as well then the advent of tunnels in this version of the game you can actually ride on top of the tunnels if you actually get on top of them Whereas in version 1.0, uh, the top of the tunnel will not exist, so therefore you will just uh, literally drive through it. Oh my goodness, she has such a long track. I mean, again, that's kind of the beauty or ugliness of this game. You can make your tracks really really short or you can make them super 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 long and right now we're done with the super track and we're first ouch uh yeah you're so mean i wanted to win why don't you let me drive something that goes fast if we race like for real this time this time i'll waste you for sure Hey, come on, uh, we were going on a tr I was not even uh, 
exceeding 157 miles per hour. So, uh, yeah. Boo, uh, what? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more to go. It's time to check out Warrior to fa final opponent, Ellens. Oh God, another monster of a track. Woo! All right, and next opponent. Yeah, years of experience, seven. Oh, expertise, all. Problems, like bumper car. So yeah, she's deemed as being the the more skilled uh, driver yet, ex with the exception of the problem that she likes to uh, literally uh, crash cars on others. Yeah. yeah. Try to keep her out of the expensive car. Hmm. Wait, hold on. What was the car she was driving? Oh, that was the car she was driving the track like... Uh, yikes. No, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going with something else. Alright. I guess uh, let's go on equal footing here. All right, red versus whatever the fuck the color is. Okay, a good old default car. All right. Uh, even then, uh, I still have a slightly better acceleration. I'm gonna be better as soon as I don't see an opponent near because hey, if you see opponent near that means hey, you might just be about uh, to uh, have your car being crashed on. And that's also one of the few opponents that will actually apologize uh, if they end up crashing on your car. Uh oh, opponent near. I mean, yeah, they totally acquired these licenses, like, uh, they, they must have been happy to be used in this circumstance. No, actually, they probably would. Like, if I was uh, a Formula One driver and I'd be like, ooh, that is a nice track you've got here. Oh, that said, I still hear that she's not too far behind, so hey, so far we finally found an AI that actually can sort of keep up with you. And even then I'm starting to gain a little bit more ground here. And we should have raised the guy who was afraid of heights onto this one track. Uh, oh wait, okay. Never mind, I guess I suddenly got a, a hell of a a hell of a lead now. Like, I don't know how she somehow got way behind out of a sudden, but uh, hey. Uh-oh. No, oh, never mind. She might actually be not too far behind. Yep. She actually managed to, call to catch up. My favorite condiment, the ketchup. Yeah, it's like, I'd say back in the time, like, uh, companies were not as much of uh, greedy dicks. But hey, on the flip side, this might also be one of the reasons why, uh, hey, this game is probably never going to get uh, to get the official re release uh, anytime soon. Like, this is gonna stay uh, abandoned where forever and ever. I'm honestly not sure how much rubber banding there is on this game. I actually might think this is not a thing. Like, uh, I legit believe that the AI will get about uh, the same time almost any other time that you're going to do the track. Also, gee, she loves these uh, elevated corners, which is kind of shitty because I personally I hate them a whole lot. I'm 
still waiting to see uh, the first like uh, corkscrew uh, highway uh, opener or whatever you call them. Yeah, it's like this is probably also the, a track that's way more aggressive with its sharp corners. It's like I've never really ended up playing these tracks. If anything, I just ended up finding these tracks like uh, as I was prepping for this. Uh, for this for the, to be featured on stream, like I am tr actually ended up uh, finding the floppy image that ended up having like all the original tracks on him. Uh, oh fuck. Right, please make the jump, please make the jump. Oh, you. Yep, racing game often get uh, delisted. Which is uh, honestly kind of a shitty, uh, shitty thing. <clears throat> like with it, with only a couple of exceptions. Like are racing games like even that big anymore? Like I feel like uh, you have to be fucking king shit or whatever in order to uh, be able to even make like a racing game anymore. I mean, come on, can you accuse somebody of fucking up the studio? Like, no, the, this thing can fuck itself, like, uh, really, really easily. Doesn't need, like, uh, any kind of uh, external uh, influence in order to fail. Like, I don't, I don't even know if this is considered a hot take or not, but uh, here's mine anyway. The Huyo was a better game console than the Stadio. There, I said it. And I will say it again if I have to. Because the idea behind the console was not as uh, pants on heads. Uh, uh, whoa, I am not doing that uh, that job. Like, uh, sorry, but uh, I am cowering away in faith. Yeah, I mean, as far as I can tell... Ah! Yep. That's as far as I can tell. Hey. But yeah, I thought, I thought that like uh, right now the studio is officially dead, like uh, you legit can play it anymore. And hey, again, people with a new yo and downloaded games before the store went down, they still can play their game. So, hey! Uh, oh, Welcome to ass building country. Yeah, so far, the only track to feature dirt and highs, uh, the track of the easy guy that can barely even drive. So, hey, make that. A oh! Oh, she actually crashed her car! Like, she couldn't actually do the jump. I think that's the end of the road. Oh no, it's not the end yet. Oh, fuck. Alright, whenever the corner is right out of the gate like this, yeah, you have no choice, you gotta take it slow. Uh, woo! Nice, that was some uh, very nice uh, downward uh, trajectory that we ended up having. Oh, the, the, the Huyo Kickstarter and everything surrounding it was an absolutely golden era of gaming. Like, uh, back in the time, like, there was uh, something awful thread about uh, the Huyo, and yeah, that was literally the, the best thing I had to check out on the whole forum and site. And there we go, victory! Oh, you think you have won, but I truly despise you now. Don't think you may ever speak to me again. If you ever race with me again, you should know better than to drive so well.
Yep, there we go. Bang. Alright, only one opponent left. And now it's time for the big one. Skid Vicious. Yep, Porsche 962. Yep, there we go. The <laughs> Year experience 20. Okay, so... He started racing at the age of 14. Yep, there we go. He learned the trade out running cups in New York. Hey, Jeff Mello, this driving habit, if not his personality, so that he has become the best driver at the proving ground. It's best not to actually speak with him. Okay, so Porsche 962. Alright, you get... Uh... Nah, why not? You get the piss collar. I don't know, uh, do I really want my brand to be represented by... <laughs> Alright, final opponent, let's see what you got. Yep. And even then, I'm still faster than him. No, oh, Bongo is a perfectly respectable member of society, like, uh... Yep, there we go. So much for the best rare racer in the world. If you get the... Uh, if you have uh, equal cars, then uh, no, he doesn't have a freaking chance in the world. It looks like you've been here forever! Thank you, Darkness! Like, I'd say sadly the default tracks are maybe a little on the uh, like underwhelming side. Like they, they don't show uh, the whole asshole factor that this game is capable of at times. Oh, actually he's right nearby. He actually caught up. To be fair, this track is all about going fast because of these end lines. Uh, ah! <laughs> okay, everything's fine, everything's fine. As long as we can dodge the tree, it's okay. Looks like he dodged the tree, Jim. Oh, okay, so a choice of tree paths. Alright, here's to hoping I picked the right one. And here I'm gonna be super freaking hypo hypocritical. I love to put this obstacle into my courses, but whenever comes the time of me to play a course I don't know, boy, uh, seeing multiple options in a track gives me anxiety. Oh, joke wheel! Alright. Oh yeah, that, that's also the thing uh, about the wheel, which is especially uh, worth mentioning. The controllers. My god, the controllers of this were the worst fucking thing in the universe. Like, for all of the advertisement that came with them, uh, oh god, uh, they were awful to you. The fact that the track could be finished in two minutes leave me with a sinking feeling. I'm starting to feel maybe I've been, uh, maybe I've been uh, fooled here. Okay, so here's the end. But did he make it? Oh, well, 223, okay, 
So you have to know which of the freaking things you're supposed to take. Okay, that's kind of cheap. Like, uh, oh boy. All right, I guess uh, let's go and check out the track in order to figure out what exactly is the fastest route through this. Oh! Okay, the... So it turns out that after the triple jump as well than the divider, you need to turn left immediately. Why? Because, hey, look at the path uh, up to the end. It's like, ooh. Yep, there we go. As for us, we probably did, uh, yeah. Nah. I think the pet that we took was even worse than this somehow. But hey, at least we, we gotta beat this fucker. And now that I know how to do it, we will. Alright, what's that? I can't hear you over the sound of you losing. Fuck! <laughs> 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 All right, that was a practice run. Like I had no clue why in the uh, hard driving uh, doing this was so difficult, but here in this uh, in this game it feels so good. There we go. Top speed! <laughs> hi, Skid! How you doing? Please say hi to the wife whenever you'll be here. <laughs> and here's the best part of the game. The fucking crashes that occur. There we go. <laughs> oh. What am I gonna race someone who knows how to drive? You couldn't beat me if you practiced for a hundred hours. Come back when you learn to drive. Ah, uh, well, yeah, that's right, shit. We should have uh, watched a replay. It's like, <laughs> that definitely was uh, a nice thing. Okay, alright. Now we're in the home stretch. Just be careful. Okay, two, uh oh. No, oh, no, my god. I wish that I went to space. At least I looked better that way. Okay. Alright. Ah, uh, why is the jump was so big this time? Okay, alright, there we go. Slow and steady wins the race. It just turns out that, hey, whenever you show a tiny uh, wee bit of finesse, you can actually do things. And now this time, we turn left. We turn left and we left our opponent in the fucking dust where he belongs. Like, I feel you can do this on a professional circuit. Put a whole bunch of... Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Put a bunch of different possible paths and somehow make one of them way better than the other. All right, there we go, victory. Oh, now you've really ticked me off. You'll pay. Savor this moment, pal, because you'll never win against me again. You wimp. You wouldn't dare to race me again. All right. <laughs> so I have no clue why the music decided to die during the intermission screen, but uh, hey, he totally did. 
So yeah, we beat all of the tracks, so what now? What is left to do into this game? Well, everything it turns out, because hey, after that it's time to check out, well, you know, the world of everything that is stunts related. Like for instance, the copy of uh, stunts that we had came in with a whole bunch of other tracks that ended up being made, so alright, which one of these do we end up playing? Uh, all right, what about hell? Okay, all right, that seems hellish enough. And now it's time to bring in the actual car that people bring in whenever they play stunts, the Porsche Marsh Indy. Now we are no longer laughing. This is the car that accelerates the fastest, handles the best and everything. And typically, like I'd say, a big amount of tracks and toa uh, stunts end up being made uh, with this car in mind. So I'd say, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, pfft. <laughs> <laughs> fucking beautiful. <laughs> yep, it's a Formula One car, or known in some other versions of the game as the the 4D contest car. Uh, oh, oh god, I can't control this anymore! Ah! <laughs> okay, so this g glitch was never fixed, it seems. <laughs> so yeah, if you somehow uh, go super fast when you're in the fifth gear with this car, you can keep going at the top speed forever and ever, so... Yep. Welcome to, uh, to this car, it's a beauty. Like, I thought we were gonna have to load up Stunts uh, version 1.0 to display this bug, but hey, it turns out it exists in this version, too. Uh, oh my god, what is it with this fucking thing again? The worst collision. Like, do I have to go slower to the loop the loop in order to take the corkscrew better? Okay, oh, yeah, alright. I'm not gonna accelerate. Yep, there we go. Whoop. What's the treatment? Uh, no, the treatment is just to embrace it. There's no other way but to go up. Uh, oh, fuck off. Alright. Tight corners on highs. This is how you uh, make friends with salad in this game. Alright, so what could po- yeah, I mean, this game is all about defying logic uh, as it appears, so it's like, personally, I'm all fine and dandy with it, so... Hey, you want to put the uh, heist in your summer tropical track, then, uh, yeah, uh, freaking do it. I will never stop you. Alright. Like, if this is all hell is about, then I'm laughing at its face. Uh, oh, boy. Like, I see the, uh, the end of the track beyond, but it's kind of taunting. So I love that there's tennis courts uh, right next to the high sea road, and yeah. These are tennis courts... Uh, uh, wait. The hell was that sign? It was uh, pointing to turn left on a right turn. Okay, there we go. Now we see all of the tennis courts. I mean, tennis is totally a sport befitting of hell. Right. Okay, I'd say typically the fun thing with this game is that, hey, there's always a fun uh, assortment of tracks that you can mess around with, whether it's insurance thing or whether 
they feature this obstacle. The frickin' corkscrew of doom. You have to take it super slow and cautious, because otherwise you're sure gonna crash. Yeah, but now the question is, can we get the uh, icy roads in a world full of cactus? Uh, oh, go. Yeah, in a road full of cactuses, can we get... Uh, can we get... Uh, okay, I'm not trusting... Oh, God. <laughs> okay, the structure of being a dickhead with these... Uh, Imperceptible uh, turns. Uh, so, for the record, I don't know anymore where I am. I don't even know if we're nearing like uh, the actual end of the track or anything. Like, judging by the number of alternate paths, I'm expecting. Uh, Sadly, a very sad tale uh, to end with this at some point. But yeah, I'd say... Even though this game still runs well on a 386, like, you still could count on the corkscrew uh, going up and down in order to uh, always throw a wrench into your experience. Like, I'd say, even on a 386, this obstacle is not the smoothest to navigate just because of the high amount of polygons that are involved. Alright, good night, not everybody, Steve. Thanks for coming by. Oh boy. Are we gonna do this again? <laughs> My car just kinda suddenly jumped up. <laughs> Look at that. It was starting to be possessed. And not in a good way. Okay, where the fuck am I now? What was all of these turn or corners? Watch as somehow I'm going to bypass like the complete uh, beginning of the track and then go back to a place that is absolutely not desirable to be at. <gasps> oh god, okay, da, da, da. I, I almost died here like that. That was absolutely not pretty. Alright, come on, I see the ending. I think uh, we're finally headed there. Yep. But yeah, make sure that to turn uh, at the correct time, because otherwise you're totally uh, bypassing the actual end of the track and just end up probably redoing the whole circuit on a loop. And yeah, so uh, yeah, essentially we played against uh, computer opponents, we've done a whole bunch of things here and there. So now it's time to check out, well, the reason why this game uh, had quite uh, the big uh, shelf life and everything. Oh, okay, never mind. So if you miss the circle, it just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty funny. Like, the circle uh, amongst, like, five or six settings. Like, typically when I do that, it will be way worse. So yeah, how about that we go and make a track now? There's five pre-made terrain. It's like uh, all of them have their little quirk. Like, terrain one is the giant hill. 
is the big hill of shit. Two, it's the river of uh, desolation as well than the pond of drowning. Oh, I mean, I've made a shitload of tracks for this game. Unfortunately, I lost them all because uh, they were all saved in the era of floppy disk, and I'm pretty certain that all of these floppy disks uh, are in the garbage and everything. So, yep, sadly, we'll never see them. So, yeah, Terrain Tree, a little bit of everything. It's the lake of uh, thoughtfulness as well, then. Uh, the hill of prof the cliffs of profound solitude and the cliff of whatever the fuck. After that, terrain four. Yeah, just a bunch of hills. Random ass hills. And finally, terrain five. The piece of resistance. The complex as all hell terrain that. Uh, Actually, it uh, can be uh, molded to a whole bunch of purposes. But, uh, yeah, how about that? Actually, you know what? Let's go with uh, course number five. So, yeah. Just in order to show how easy it is to make a track into this, alright. Oh, limited objects allowed on water. On the overpass pieces with stilt, overpass span, and boat allowed. Alright. I guess uh, we're gonna get to working on this, so... Yep, you've got all of the different parts of the game all split up into categories. You can also use the function keys uh, in order to get to them like uh, easier. Uh, actually, yep. I'm just gonna keep going this way and we're going to end the bridge here on top of this little hill. We'll try to not go for something too dickish. Uh, or, or maybe I'm just gonna lie, like, uh, eh. Uh, so now, it's time to go for this. With that said, however, whenever you go for that one type of uh, terrain, be expected, like, to uh, switch to the bridges a whole bunch. Okay, now we're gonna surprise the player here with a slalom just at the very end of it all. Now let's just go with this, I mean. Alright, let's put let's price things up. Let's give the player a choice. Now the question is, which is gonna be the correct thing to do? I don't know. You'll be the judge on whether your car is going places or not. Okay. Had a little thing here. Let's go for a tunnel here and let's avoid putting a tunnel there uh, on top here because you're probably just going to be uh, pop things up and uh, hit the ceiling at the very top. All right, so now what will be the other choice? All right, how about a choice that stays? Yeah, if you go there, you have to go through the shitty obstacle. That said, however, there's only one negative to this, and it is that, well, whenever you're going to uh, edit song or tracks in this, like, uh, this music is gonna get hold really quick. So I'd say at this point, this is where you get your stereo next to you, and you actually, you know, uh, play anything else except for that uh, couple of seconds loop. Alright. Now let's go for the almost ASMR experience. Hey, we're going to edit the racetrack. <laughs> okay, I don't fucking know what that voice is. This is such a dipshit voice. Okay, actually, yeah. In order to make this clearly the better option, like, 
This is gonna be the hardest uh, possible option to uh, to have, but let's make it so that at the very least it'll, it'll be worth it. Right, another slalom. Of course, there's always a certain amount of limitations that you're gonna have to overcome whenever you make tra- Oh, okay, alright, Alpine. to do this because we're gonna be a dick bag and we're gonna try to make the the racetrack uh, racer just hit this little slope here as they go down and just send them off course yeah we're going to uh, apply douchebag 101 tactics here and even then, uh, this is not even the worst that we can possibly do here. I'm being uh, especially tame here. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah, there we go. I totally know how everything is gonna come up Millhouse. Milau says, hey, I've got uh, two high C corners here because uh, yep, you're a dickbag, Mr. Nerd. But yeah, at this point, I'm only doing this because I don't want like to do uh, some cheap shit, like for instance, put a... Uh, a road that goes up a cliff and then make the player immediately steer without having any idea what the, what's even going on. Oh, alright. That's it. Let's go for the ultimate dickbag uh, obstacle. Make a jump seeking into... An elevated corner. Like, if you want people to hate you whenever uh, they, they play this game, this is how you do it. But hey, this is a track that's pretty much uh, gonna be uh, kept uh, in vitro on uh, the whole world of uh, shit ass re, so hey, I don't feel bad about uh, any of it. I'm the only one who's going to. Uh, do anything bad regarding this. But uh, yeah, one thing that, you know, I did not know as a kid and I wish you knew. If you press Shift F1, look at what you have access to now. You have access to uh, plenty more of uh, options here. Actually, yep. Yeah. this way like what I'm gonna do here we're gonna put a little swervy thing here and we're gonna make them drive through water yep, there we go just like that Actually, let's let's make the water symmetrical. I know that's not how nature is, but uh, hey, sometime uh, a wise man have said, uh, count the ducks and then fuck you. I don't know. Okay, so now we're nearing the end of this row. <laughs> 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 yeah, sadly, I can't make a waterfall go through an hospital, but hey, the, the world can dream. Alright, we're, we're kind of restricted space-wise here, but hey, let's make the little space that we have worth it.
second. There we go. A bank rolled into a drum. I mean, floppies were valuable for a decade, I guess. Uh, a decade, a decade. Alright, whatever. Let's clog up all of the space. Ooh, okay. There's starting to be a little bit of overlap here. We're gonna have to start making some big decisions fairly soon. I mean, I can make a corner through here in order to go and do that. Said, however, I'm not gonna put water in the bottom of this pit. Like, okay, it's just gonna be. Oh, actually, I know. Alright, time to be an asshole! Hee 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 hee! Okay, whatever. I give up on the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Well, no objects are allowed on the angle terrain hedge block. Yep. All right, now it's time to be, uh, yeah. It's like, uh, I can guarantee you whenever I'll test drive this track, I am so gonna hit that. Okay, and hey, let's, uh, let's have uh, an intersection into this, because uh, these always are the display of a good, uh, of good uh, track design, so alright. Except here it's kind of lazy because uh, you're literally going through the thing. Like you see the thing and you eventually, you essentially go through it like instantly, which is, uh, you know, a really fucking lazy way to do it. But hey. Some assholes giggle like schoolgirls, like, uh, hey, uh, you, you uh, must not uh, discriminate the world based on the quality of its delicious apples. Oh, alright. Uh, Okay, now time to do my favorite thing in the game. The uh, good old uh, jump from a bridge over a building. Like, uh, always do that in front of a uh, dedicated stuntman. But now we're gonna have to alternate this mountain because uh, what we're about to do is uh, unfortunately impossible with uh, that uh, mountain uh, configuration, so... We're just going to do uh, some reshaping here. Uh, okay, we're gonna steer in here. There we go. Alright, whatever. I am violating my creed. Putting a tunnel there. <laughs> Blah. 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 Okay, right now I'm not 100% certain where we're going, but hey. I'd say that's always a thing whenever you uh, you do tracks in this game. Okay, let's uh, yeah, I know it's an alpine uh, scenario, but let's put in some cacti. Okay, this is gonna go this way. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna do a jump. Actually, hold on, can you do... Nah, okay, I can't do that. Okay, I might as well not do it then, because again, the, this is being an asshole. It's like, if you wanna be the biggest jerk, here's the obstacle that you wanna do. Actually, we're gonna do it the right after this part here. Okay. So the ramp. Ramp jumping from this into this. This is how you make people hate you in this game. Like, this is literally the worst possible thing that you can do. Like, this obstacle alone is kind of a pain in the ass, but hey, this is the ultimate pain in the ass. Oh yeah, that's right, we need that to have a convenience store at the end of this all. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's like at this point, this, the, the ending of this is so convoluted in the ways that it should hand, except it does not have the, the decency to hand. Alright, let's go for another shitty ass jump. Oops. Okay, let's dispel it. Okay, with that said, once you reach this part of the track, you're going to be home free. Alright, so that's the basic outline of the track. The only thing I'd say this track is missing... Oh no, that's right, there are multiple choices. There's one. Alright, let's go for some scenery. Like, uh, it's always nice to have... Uh, a little something in order to spice up your uh, your areas, even when they don't make sense. There's gonna be a, a tennis court here, right beside the tunnel, where there's no way you will ever get there. Convenience store is here. Alongside a bunch of trees, like, and the climate is confused here. We need an executive branch. I guess it's gonna be here and there. Uh, and a palm tree. And a chestnut up on a palm tree. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Alright, more convenience stores. They're all in the war. But uh, hey, little do people know they are. Uh, Okay. okay, this way. It's some spread up palm trees. Ah, okay. For the people who somehow drive past here, they're gonna crash right into the thing. A windmill. Okay, two more trees. Okay, a gas station. Again, these do, do, do absolutely nothing. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Okay, alright. So is ah okay. So I'm allowed to have. Uh, 
Yep, there we go. Psych! <gasps> That's my track. <laughs> yeah, but the good thing is, I have no one else to blame but myself. But yeah, essentially, this is as simple as it is to uh, to make a track into this game. Like, uh, how much time did it took? Like, about 10 minutes? But yeah, that was a fun thing. Uh, like, you had an afternoon to waste, and you literally will have the time like to make probably two, three, or four tracks. And the game also uh, idiot-proofs your track as well. Like... If the game detects that your track is impossible, or you put objects that does not allow uh, the end of the track to be possible, then the game is going to stop you in your track before you even start playing. So, yep, you're not playing uh, an impossible track here, mister. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I almost uh, le fucked it immediately. thing with this track is that uh, hey it's kind of slowly ramping uh, dickbaggery so hey, we might as well go with the uh, you know the oh okay that almost went bad that's okay at the very least I was not evil enough to make it go down as well I mean, my stages in Mario Makers, I'd say, typically, I will try to stay close, like, to the spirit of the original game. Ah, fuck. And I missed the ramp. Well, hopefully... Ah, oh, no. Oh, no! Hopefully, I don't have to drive through water. Ah, uh, uh, whoops. <laughs> and we drove through water. Like, if my capture card still worked, maybe I should have done, like, a, you know, a playthrough of uh, all of the levels that I ended up making in Mario Maker, just in order to uh, have an actual, uh, you know, a recording of all of them uh, conveniently at one place. But yeah, I don't even think that my, cap my capture card w works anymore. It's not impossible, like, when I was a kid, I made tracks that were way worse than this. Like I'd say, in comparison, this is like, you know, a pretty tame dickbaggery. Thank you for the sub. All right, there we go. Yeah, this time we actually stuck the landing. Unexpected error. Submarine module not found. Commence drowning. <laughs> I'll turn my car in the submarine next time. Catch it. Alright, there we go, and now we're driving through the loop in the middle of the Twin Lakes. But yeah, as you can see, like, one square of this still represents uh, a big amount of terrain. So it's like, uh, don't worry, you're not uh, being left a star for space. Decided, hey, let's be a fucker. It's a good thing that I remember the track that I made myself because otherwise I would have been in trouble.
and now uh, the the corners need to uh, the the bank turns need to adhere to a certain logic at all time because otherwise uh, the game is just going to uh, disallow you from doing uh, the deed. All right, jump over the building. Yep, yeah, there we go. Success. Uh, oops. Uh, to say that I was uh, afraid of uh, going too fast for this. Pfft, yeah, right. <gasps> no, I just didn't finish Breath of the Wild because I had a burnout with it at the time. That uh, literally was the story of the thing. Okay, alright, now I believe... Oh yeah, that's right. Here's the evil obstacle now. Yep. It's like, this is why it's evil, because you gotta go fast enough in order to land on top of the thing, but then you immediately need to go to a complete grinding halt. Okay, I don't know. I feel like that my capture device ended up being fried or something like that because I can no longer put it onto my uh, onto any of my USB uh, things because otherwise it just complains about an overcurrent and everything, which is you know kind of bad and at this point. I feel like eh, let's not stretch things. Oh fuck, I did that again. Okay, whew. But no, I just play. I just ended up beating uh, Breath of the Wild of Camro because uh, that was the time where I was uh, having a lot of free time at, uh, at work during the night, so eh, I brought my Switch and I will just uh, play Breath of the Wild. So, eh. Hey, okay, there we go, we did it. That was it for the course that I ended up being uh, made. Like, it took almost as much time to beat it than it was to play it. But hey, even then, it's possible to have uh, even longer tracks, but I'd say that's gonna be, uh, do it for uh, me playing stunts for the time being. At this point, I'd say, hold on a second. In order to close up this stream, I might as well go and do a little something that uh, all right one moment all right one moment all right so here's some stunt content from way 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 earlier ago where i think it was on the something awful forum where Francomatic uh, also tried to get people to play stunts and make tracks so yeah, that's a video that I saved from way back then, and yeah, it's a time to watch uh, Frank Comedic play a track of stunts that I did in uh, 2008, just for him. This is Psychedelic Eyeballs track, Psych 1. As you can see, it started me at 30 seconds in my replay, because I took so damn long finishing this track that it passed over the 10 minute buffer it holds. Yep, because uh, this is the thing with this game. You have to beat the track on. under 10 minutes That's if you want it to annoying. fit on a whole replay. I also replay. totally meant to do that power slide out into, the gr out into the grass. And coincidentally, any further power slides out into the middle of nowhere that occur, I also totally meant to do. Even the one where I totally screw up a jump and go skidding out of control, seemingly, was entirely planned for the purposes of being awesome. Oh. No, fuck this off, you can't do hill, that. However, was totally Why did I awesome. <laughs> I tried so many times to get through there. I figured there had to have been a way to just jump through that, but no, you, you crash and die. And that's just the start of all the horrible, horrible things Psych tries to uh, 
subject us to in this track very successfully. Yep, again, in my other track I've been way more I'm tame. I'm pretty sure that by the Geneva Convention, the creation and distribution of this track is considered an act of war. Or possibly an act of terrorism. I'll have to uh, look up the sub-clauses and see which one it is. But either way, I think it means that we can uh, attack Canada or wherever it is psychedelic eyeballs from without any consequences. I mean, or it all boils down on whether Canada will represent me and my efforts. I kind of wish I'd been going faster there so I could have jumped on top of the tunnel, but... Just because I haven't done that ever since I started playing this again, and that makes me kind of sad. Oh yeah, that's right. We never ever uh, landed on top of a tunnel. But live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> this is another video that shows that pretty much I suck at this game so terribly. Oh, Aside from right. jumping over the uh, swollen block, so that was pretty cool. Yep, and that was an obstacle that was very poorly thought of me. Or maybe and I just now want my to make people feel empowered. And now my decided it wants to uh, not show me what I'm doing anymore, so I have nothing to say. Stupid Windows Media Player. Yep, how little things have changed. Oh boy, you can never trust Windows Movie Player. But yeah, for the record, I hate this track and pretty much everything it stands for. Hey, at the very least, no treat to collide on this time. It is a horrible maze of pain and death, and I just cannot get behind that. I mean, there's the pain and death, but so far we haven't Even seen the maze be part, because there's gonna be a maze In a manner part. much like one might treat their own child. I'm not really sure how I came up with that. I'm just kind of speaking out of train of stream of consciousness, since I can't see what's going on in the video at the moment. I really kind of hope it comes back and that media Windows Media Player hasn't completely locked up and I'm just talking to myself at random. That's that would be kind of like the good old 2007-2008 vibe. I can but see I the video we'll, well I'll comment on it anyway. <laughs> anyway, since I don't know where we are, you'll notice at some point in here that I once again jump over the turnoff out of psychedelic eyeballs and insidious... Yep, like here, for oh. instance. Hey, it's back. I meant to crash into the fence... The multiple times I did that in this video. I mean, there's not the really a maze. There's only one I'll get back to the point I was going path, to make when we get to hey. it. Since I can now see what's going on, and I don't need to uh, randomly guess. Yep, it's back. <laughs> and this part here, where it looks like I totally didn't learn my lesson from the last time, and once again go flying through a jump way I mean, learning than I from your lesson. Like, I'm totally sorry, planned. but there's no warning to this. As you can like, see, it means this I can make this turn a whole track lot faster design. by making it a U turn instead of an actual turn. Like, this turn here, I'm good sure track all of you design, are buying this, but so, uh, making you jump and then immediately have a sharp corner, I no, mean, bad. Uh, tell the truth design. about what happened. Oh, someone's I really come in. Don't know what what we did to offend you so much, Psych, but this 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 track is clearly some sort of rage filled. Yeah, I mean it's got tennis courts. I like, can't even no, call it a word comes for it. Some from sort a of kind heart. Lashing out at humanity in general. I I guess someone must have wronged you very terribly. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Maybe of by course I put this track, that. that will be eased. Also, I still hate these stupid vertical corkscrew things. I mean, everyone and yet plays every single Stone track that I've received like has a... at least one of them in them, I think. Aside from a couple of the YouTube ones, which I haven't all tried out all of yet. I do, however, like banked turns. This, however, I think someone used to make likes. a track that's nothing but banked turns and loops. And maybe a couple of building jumps. Oh, suddenly there's sound! Now this yeah. here is important. As you'll see in a couple more seconds once I get off of the... Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Alright. Now this is where the, the track, track. Uh, how to ride uh, shows up its dick bag uh, potential. Notice the hill. Notice yep. Notice the hill. That corner on the left, this is where you're supposed to go in order to finish the track. 
if you continue straight on, you go back to earlier in the track. So yeah, there we go. Here's the maze of death and uh, destruction. It's a tiny little asshole-ish turnoff on top of the hill. I just jumped right past. No, I just paused the video. That was where I needed to go. Because not going that way... ...sends you back through a little bit of different spot... ...but then directly over that bridge again to try again. So I put it on double speed for the, uh... ...sake of getting through what we've already seen again. Yeah, it's like... It's something to make you lose progress, now, but it takes so long, long that, to know this that you've lost progress. I probably would have gone over the recording buffer, because I would have cut at least a minute off of my time. But, I am a dumbass, so you all get to suffer for it. Oh yeah, that's right! That is seriously one of the most dick moves I've seen in a race track that I've received so far, though. I mean, that turn off, even when you go slow over this, I still almost jumped past it and had to turn and go through the grass to get over to it. Okay, I need to pause the video here because I kind of just remembered something fucked up. You know the very first uh, choice that you end up doing into the, the track? If you turned instead of going straight ahead, the track will just send you in a dead end where you will die. So, yeah. I was just reminded whenever I was looking at the track during the replay, but uh, yeah, I also was play making race tracks uh, where you literally could soft lock yourself. That's just terrible. Yep, I agree. Making it go to an infinite loop? That's even more terrible. You are terrible, so like. Making you lose the track because Except you chose to, uh, awesome to turn at, at the wrong place? Yep. And most things. You just apparently hate us now because... I don't know, because you're Canadian. Once again, I mean, totally meant to do that power reason. slide to the grass for no reason. But once you get out of that loop, you're pretty much home free. There's not too much bad after that. Oh. Honestly, when I first did that right there and got flung to the left arbitrarily, seemingly, from that jump, I had no idea what happened. Yeah. Bank, I'm still not uh, entirely sure why that happened, but it kept me from crashing in the slalom block, so I am very pleased about it. Yep. And it was pretty Said easy to line up the corkscrew afterwards. One of these days I'll actually do a corkscrew properly, but so far I always end up flying out of it upside down and dying. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'll figure it out one day. This is actually my favorite part of the whole run. It only took me one shot to do this, and I didn't oh. even know it was coming, but I managed to land in just the right spot that shooting through those slalom blocks was really easy. Yeah, it's like this as uh, was to on top of them and exploding like I was expecting to. Okay, here, this is expert level driving. Good job. I'm also a fan of the double loops. In fact, I'm also sometimes a fan of the triple loops, or quadruple loops, or occasionally <laughs> septuple loops, if you're feeling saucy. Yeah, in this game, loops are fun, as opposed to hard drives. I think someone also needs to make a track that's nothing but a really long tube for the purposes of seeing how many times you can do a full 360 on the way through it, <laughs> without crashing and dying at the end. And right here is where my video asked me if I wanted to continue the replay, or just continue driving. I chose to continue driving. And that led to this. Later. Yep. And that was all that Frank Comedic had to say back into uh, 2007, 2008. So uh, yeah, that's about uh, that's about it for stunts, and uh, I'd say that's probably gonna be it for this stream as well. So.